Beethoven is hiding in Disney's Haunted Mansion, and he isn't the only composer who is. Well, hiding might not be the exact term for it, but let me explain. So one of the composers we've already talked about, and that's the one associated with the drummer in the Haunted Mansion, which comes from the drummer of Tedworth. And in some early concept art, there's a hunchback carrying his drums for him, which is exactly what Franz Josef Haydn did when he was too young to carry his drums. But where does Beethoven come in? Well, it's all related to the bus. And I don't mean Aunt Lucretia, although she was originally going to be the sixth singing bust. No, this connection goes back to when they were making some special effects for the Haunted Mansion. And Yale Gracie and Raleigh Crump were the masterminds behind these special effects. Yale had the idea of making a face that was animated on a bust. They took some film out of the library of Hans Conried's face saying, Magic Mirror, who's the fairest one of all? And then they projected this film onto a bust of Beethoven that Yale Gracie had. So, in a way, Beethoven was one of the original singing busts.